In this video, I wanna help you improve your ability to curl a ball or bend a ball into the top or bottom corner with both feet. So first of all, when you're shooting, you wanna get that ball out of your feet enough that you can run into it. If I'm trying to take a shot and the ball is stuck in my feet like this, it's gonna be very difficult. Yes, still possible, it's gonna be very difficult for me to generate the te technique that I want. So you wanna focus on right before you're about to shoot, getting that ball out of your feet enough so you can run into it, take a couple good steps, your technique will be more natural. Now, when you're about to shoot, yes, you wanna focus on your feet, but you wanna focus on your body, okay? That moment when you're about to shoot, it's so important that you're focusing on keeping your body nice and still. So you may have heard people tell you, your coaches tell you, you wanna get over the ball. And yes, that is very true. You wanna get over the ball. But you, when you make contact, you wanna focus on being nice and still. If I am leaning like this, or I'm leaning like that, when I'm making contact, the ball's not gonna travel where I want it to go. So yes, you're focusing on your feet, obviously, you're focusing on the ball, but focus on your body. As you're about to shoot, you have to compose yourself for that half a second, really nice and still, nice and straight, and then it's gonna allow you to produce the technique that you want. You'll be more likely to keep the ball on target as well. Now, when I'm curling that ball, as I'm about to shoot, what I'm always doing in my head is I'm actually visualizing the path that the ball is going to take before it actually, before I actually take the shot. So I'm not just hitting it and hoping that it goes into the top corner, okay? I'm actually visualizing where the ball is going to go, which path it's going to take. So I know it's gonna curl. So what I mean by that is, you can come on this side, take a look. So what I mean by that is if I'm hitting the ball into the top left corner, okay, the ball isn't just coming off my foot and magically it's going there. Wh where is it going? It's traveling like this and then it's coming back, it's curling out and it's coming back in. Okay, so I'm visualizing the path of the ball before I even take the shot. So now that I visualize that, then I'm trying to produce it. So if I am trying to hit it into that top corner, that doesn't mean I'm gonna hit a straight shot like that. I'm actually starting it out there and having to curl back like that. Okay, so I'm visualizing the path of the ball before I even take the shot. Now, come back and just focus on my foot technique here. So curling the ball. And where's a good shot? I will do it here. No. Nope. Like that. Okay, so again, curling the ball, I'm focusing more on the big toe right here. If I'm hitting it too much there, it's probably gonna curl down onto the ground into the keeper's hands. You've probably done that before. I've done it a hundred times. That's why I always tell myself, do not allow yourself to do that. I'm focusing on hitting it more on here on the big toe and I'm pushing the ball. Okay, so I'm pushing it kind of on this side of the ball and that's where I'm gonna produce that curl. Okay, but I'm pushing it. I'm thinking about that path, really focusing on nice open foot, good contact pushing it like that, pushing it on target. Okay, so think about those things. Then finally is my follow through. So if you watch the free kick video, I talked about the follow through, you're landing on that planting foot and I'm pushing it towards my target. So I'm not just hitting the ball and my follow through stops, okay? I'm actually pushing it on that path with my follow through. So I'm pushing it where I want it to go and I'm landing through, I'm almost jumping through the ball, landing on that shooting foot. So think about all those things when you're about to curl that shot. First of all, get in it out of your feet. Remember, if you're trying to shoot from here, it's gonna be really tough to generate the technique that you want. Get in out of your feet enough so you can step into it. Thinking about controlling your body as much as your technique. So if I'm leaning back, the ball's probably gonna go high. If I'm over it, it's more likely to stay on target. But if I'm leaning when I'm hitting it, let's say for example, I'm hitting it like this, well, it's gonna curl into the inside of the net, okay? If I'm leaning like this, it's probably likely to curl the other way. So if you just want the ball to do what your foot tells it to do and not what your upper body tells it to do, really focus on getting it over, keeping nice and still, curling it towards your target. Think about the point on your foot, nice strong foot. If you have a weak limp foot, you're gonna have a weak limp shot. Then you're thinking about putting it on that path, not just hitting it straight, putting it on the path, curling outside, coming back in, following through with your shooting foot, jumping through towards your target.
Thanks for checking out the video. Please remember to give me a like. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. Share this video with your friends and teammates and come back tomorrow for another training video. Thank you.